All right, guys, this is Turok, and uh, this video, I'm going to do a video, uh, a reaction to a trailer I've been waiting, <clears throat> I've been forgetting and holding off too long now. It's the trailer for the Thousand Year Blood Arc Part 4, uh, trailer number 4, save others. Oh, but anyways, this is covering uh, what I assume will be the last portion of the Thousand Year Blood War of uh, the manga from Ble uh, from Bleach. Um, I assume that because it's like, they're blazing through it. I did not expect them to get through so much in the first two parts that I watched uh, uh, that, that, uh, that came out. Uh, um, but I am enjoying, my main thing with this though is I love this art style. Um, I just did the video before that uh, uh, you'll see a first with um, about the new Dragon Ball and I was speaking about how I'm not really a fan of the color look of that, the palette, the, the bright colors, the way it looks. But with this one, it's kind of the opposite direction where there's colors, but there's kind of a weird darkness to it. I kind of recall, I remember that fight I watched with Kenpachi and his opponent. And it was like, I, but I like the look of this coloring, how this one is. And I kind of wish they would apply something like this to the Dragon Ball anime they're going to make and how and the same what can be said with <clears throat> how Super looked I was not a fan of the episodes of Super I've seen and how that looked especially especially when it comes to the character models there's something off about especially when looking at Goku and Vegeta I recall when it, looking at that and comparing it to uh them in Dragon Ball Z, uh, I just don't like it. My actually, Dragon Ball Z, there's, I know there's a, a video out there of two gentlemen that were talking about all the different, there were like different people that were working on different groups. And I really, I want to go back and find out who was animating Dragon Ball Z right near the um, well, in two parts where they fought. Um, I forget, I want to do my hand like this, but I can't. <laughs> they um. Where, um, when Vegeta was fighting in Perfect Cell, and they had that one episode, the episode where he transformed, and it had that really quality look. I want that, I would love that, either that very consistent, or where the part where, uh, Gohan finally finished off Cell. Those two episodes, so like, it was like one, 191, or no, 181, no, 191, maybe for, um, when Gohan beat Cell, and when Vegeta fights Cell, the one where he first does the Ascended Saiyan uh, uh, um, uh, uh, transformation. I love the animation back then. I miss that so much. Just some of the stuff uh, afterward. Uh, no, it's not really after. I can't really say it. Some, a lot of the stuff I've watched that's from the 2000 looks really good too. Although sometimes there is still come some kind of like bright news. I'm, wa I was, I'm watching um, Witchblade. For example, and I like how the characters look, but there is something with the coloring there as well. And then uh, I don't like, and when it comes to something like Cowboy Bebop and Trigun, I really do like that. I have to start studying animation, stuff like that. So um, briefly, and I, I like to do drawing in my in my free time, but I only do it with a pen, pencil. I, I don't know anything about coloring, and I don't know anything about digital animation. I didn't study any of that stuff. When I went to college, I wanted to learn. I, I went into studying stuff with computers because I wanted to, uh, you know, I like doing fixing things and things like that. But maybe I should have studied some animation stuff. So but I bet there's some YouTube videos on it. But anyways, <clears throat> on this thing, and this back to this arc, I'm hoping that they kind of expand on this because this, in this arc, this old, whole saga or whatever, kind of felt very rushed in uh, the manga and I still to this day have not looked into why like what was going on that made Kubo the author the manga author or whatever rush through this it was very it felt like I was going through Dragon Ball Z again with the Boo saga where they both just wanted to finish this like it like was there some kind of contractual reasons they had to continue the story I I thought I heard someone with Toriyama he he didn't he wanted to end it with Cell, and I kind of wish he had. Boo, Boo as a character was interesting, but the and continuing some of the lives and what's happening with the other characters was cool. But the Boo saga was just so 
lackluster for me. And like I that was the first thing I watched with Dragon Ball Z, and I still like tons off here. And then when I watched the Frieza and Cell sagas, I'm like, the what this is what I was thinking, like recognizing, okay, these are better than what came later. You know, I just could feel the rushness, I guess. And uh, anyways, uh, I'm hoping they'll expand on this like that. Like, so one last thing on this is like with uh, uh, Oda right now with uh, Ble- um, <laughs> um, One Piece, he feels like he's kind of not, he's rushing with the manga also. Like he's not, not really, not the same way. It's like the story is still playing out as it should, but I'm seeing episodes of the anime that really flesh out more of some of these scenes that seem like that he might have done a little bit more in the past, but he isn't doing now. And I don't know, with, with Oda, he's already in his 50s, if I recall correctly, and I'm wondering if he's just, like, tired. Literally, just like, he, I know he had to take a break last year, or was it earlier this year, because he had to get some surgery for his eyes or something. He's just, I, I feel really bad. I know this was happening with other authors too, where they're like, they seem overworked or are overworked, not seem perhaps. And it's like, I wonder if that's what's going on sometimes with, with these three things. I was talking about Toriyama, Kubo and Oda, where they're like rushing. Cause they're like, they just can't get it. They're not a lot of really, really good vacation sometimes. Although I think Oda's taking long breaks now. Maybe Oda, maybe we're finally in an era where the authors can say, Hey, no, I need a long break to get away from this. I need, some rest and relaxation. Anyways, um, so all of that said, I just want this part of this story is really cool because we're gonna finally see those five. Um, I forget. <laughs> I should have done my research. Uh, re, uh, um, reviewed all these characters. They're those five special captains <clears throat> of the uh, Squad Zero that are gonna have their day to shine here now. Especially the one there. You can see that guy. He's the one with the who does stuff with like the names of things. And there's the one who make who made Zan Pak Toes that I want to see their fights and how well the anime is going to do that. So um, let's see if this uh, trailer will show us anything. Yeah, this came out two months ago. I'm two months behind. Jesus. Also, once again, I am not going to... Um, come on. I can't get this camera right. Come on. No. Wait a minute. You shit. Come on. Seriously? Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> I forgot what I was saying now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the audio. Yeah, I'm not going to have the audio. Nope, nope, nope. Audio is going to go through my headphones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, the color looks so much better. Oh, we're just seeing all the... Hmm. Okay, this is just a... Oh, that guy. There he is. The conflict. Are we going to see? No. That guy's hmm. Uh, yeah, and that's not all that matters. Stop saying that. Yeah, I'm sick of the Quincy bullshit in this one. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, yeah, just spare. Hmm. Who's that supposed to be? The Soul King? No, you have to have balance. That's it? Okay. Wait a minute. Is there another one? Mm-hmm. Let's see if there's a different one. Uh let's see, conflict part three. No, is that the one I just saw? Uh Let's see, uh, conflict trailer. Is that the only one there is? 11 and a part three trailer. Wait, here we go. Let's see this a second. Yeah, they're coming to the realm where the Soul King is. Hmm. Oh, some kind of 3D setup. Hmm. I have to reread this again because I forgot some of the. <clears throat> I know we're going to get a cool fight with the two different. Those two, um. Two of the Quincy also. The one, Bur Baz Burns or whatever, and the other guy with the long hair. They're, they're going to have a big fight. This music sounds very like 1950s dramatic. Hmm. Yep, Kubo. What was that sound effect? That sounded familiar. Okay. Uh, this is media. So, anyways, I'm excited to, despite this trailer not showing much of what I was hoping to see. Uh, the Barto. No thanks. Hmm. I think I lot of stuff there. Okay. Uh, I was hoping to see more about what's going to happen with some of the fights, the little tidbits of that. Uh, but, uh, it's, there's going to be a great many fights there. Like, we're going to find see, um, I can't remember anyone's name right now. <laughs> it's been so long. Uh, what's his name? His, uh, the one that trained you, you, uh, Ichigo with, the uh, his, his sword, what was it called? The Blood Princess or something. He's going to have an excellent fight. Uh, we're even going to see some of the, um, Aran cars return as well. And I just, uh, I'm very excited to see it all. Cause like I said, this artwork that looks, it's just, this is really, look at these shading. Like he's got the purple, we got the red and blues. Look how well, uh, what's his name? Yawa. Whatever his name looks. Uh, this is just like, I gotta look more into the studio doing this. I wish this was the one doing more Dragon Ball stuff in the, in the, right now. Uh, <clears throat> let me set up too. So, uh, some of this next month actually. So, no, did this say next month? Sometime this year. So, this is the thing I'll be looking forward to more this year as far as other stuff. Like, I'm trying to catch up on new anime now. I'm watching, uh, I'm trying to keep up with some of the stuff. I'm actually, I'm trying to look back and other stuff. I'm, I'm keeping up with, uh, you know, mangas. I'm trying to, I got the Shonen Jump uh, subscription on my phone. And, uh, I'm watching, trying to keep up on like newer stuff. But when it comes to like what I'm ex anticipating, this is the only one I really am anticipating that's like, not constantly uh, coming out at this time because, like, I'm watching uh, One Piece uh, uh, week to week as it comes out now, but uh, that's continuous. This is something that we're, we're waiting for to come out. This is so, yeah, this is what I'm ex most excited for that come out this year. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see, as I said earlier, if they expand on the fights more or not the fights, the other stuff. It is this, this part, especially, just feels so rushed at the end. That I, I I hope that they'll give more time to it. It felt like they 
did a little rushing with the other fights earlier on, and I hope they don't do that. Like, it's almost what I'm kind of getting at just to finish off is that I don't want a one one to the manga. That's what I was talking about with like Oda stuff is better now in the anime because he feels like he's rushing the manga and the, so the anime is make is picking up the slack, so to speak. Uh, so like the Luffy and Luchi fight from about uh, 15 episodes ago was great because it was I felt so fast in the manga. And I wanted to see stuff like that with some of these upcoming fights in Bleach to be fleshed out more as well. So uh, when it comes out, maybe I'll have to actually do some reviews on it to, to talk about whether or not they meet my expectations that way. I'm sure they'll be good or exceptional, really, but I want them to be so exceptional like we never forget it in terms of like feeling like that it was they were given all the screen time they needed. I guess. <clears throat> Anyways, thanks for watching.